What's going on guys? Welcome back to another My Faction video. Today we're going to be going over some of the new live events and the new weekly towers alongside with some cool stuff that could be happening as well this week. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to Jax Gaming if you're new. I post all the My Faction content you guys need alongside Call of Duty and other big games. So if you're interested in all that, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And also leave a comment down below. So for today's weekly towers, we do get 2,500 MFP, which is really good. That's actually really good. I'll actually, I'm actually excited for this. Here are the matches. Oh, please tell me they're all 1v1. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is good. I love weekly towers like this. Just give us one-on-one -on -one matches, not no two-on-two, two-on-three, all that stuff. Just give us one-on-one -on -one matches and give us some cool MFP. I'll take this. This is actually a really good weekly tower, so definitely looking forward to that, especially since I already opened up some WrestleMania packs on my WrestleMania pack opening video. I definitely need my MFP points back. <laughs> and for live events, yes, we still have these live events still up and running. I still need to go over this Legends one. I still need to finish that up, but I will soon. We also have the WrestleMania ones featuring the Tiffany Stratton, which I know some of you guys are decisive on, like some of you guys are going to get it. Some of you guys don't really care about getting it, which I understand, you know, like <laughs> but trying to pull her from a pack and then going for a live event can be pretty tedious especially since if you're trying to be careful with your mfp points i definitely understand that and now we also have three new live events that feature faction wars bosses and this was interesting this was actually something that we've been talking about will we start seeing these faction wars bosses in live events and yes now we finally have them and it's funny how it's all the ones that i don't have i could easily pick up these boss cards but like I said, with the whole changes of faction wars and the token market being so expensive, I'm not going to fall into the trap. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying any of them. Like like I said, I, I was going to cash out and get some more ruby cards because I know this card right here is extremely cheesy as well. I already know what's going to happen, man. I purchased this, go for this live event that's going to give me 1,000 MFP points, and then it's like I'm down, I'm down the hole again, you know? I'd rather just continue saving up my faction wars points for amethyst tier that's what i'm doing nothing's gonna distract me from doing that <laughs> if there's a card that i have from the faction wars boss list and then you know most definitely i'll be going for those live events but i'm not gonna get sidetracked by this and if you guys don't have any of these cards i suggest you guys do the same uh, i mean you guys can do what you want but i definitely suggest just saving up your faction wars credits because once we do get into amethyst tier you're gonna be like man Good thing I did not spend however many credits I needed for this Sapphire John Cena card and only got a thousand MFP off of it. Now I get to get this Amethyst card, you know what I'm saying? So that's my same mindset. I'm going with it. You know, I, I definitely am not going to get sidetracked with it. But hey, if you have the cards, this is definitely cool. A nice, cool little simple live event. Get a thousand MFP for it. Really cool. And then if you have all three cards, you get 3000 MFP. So it works out. Definitely. It definitely works out, which is really cool. We also have this Valhalla card as well. That's going to be dropping soon in, what, three days. Really cool. So, you know, I will definitely be covering her as well when she gets released. I'll be going over her finisher, her signature, her moveset, seeing if it's worth it or not. Highly suggest you guys get it, though, because it's a free card. So, might as well go for it because I have a feeling that now that WrestleMania season's over, we're going to be seeing some, some more changes from my faction. I feel like typically after WrestleMania season, that's when 2K kind of backs off a bit and they start just releasing content like at their own pace, you know? No more WrestleMania. They're not trying to match things with WrestleMania to build up hype. I feel like things are going to start going at their pace now. So don't be shocked if we're going to start seeing more pack required live events and obviously pack prices are going to be going up alongside with the car market prices are going to be going up and because of you know wrestlemania season being done and that's pretty much having a lot of ruby cards now i'm sure the ruby token market should be opening up within the next month or two so i'll definitely be covering that and it's going to be pretty pricey now when it comes to packs i don't think we're going to get any new packs this week as well i think there's going to be one of those weeks where it's just like hey live events are just going to be carrying which is all cool and stuff i don't expect us to get anything too crazy this week but we do have some more live events coming on the 13th and the 20th i believe yeah as you guys can see there so we got some more live events coming up soon. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens this week. It's definitely going to be on the slower end. Hopefully we can get some cool live events though. And we and then we'll be good to go with that. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be going for any of these live events? Do you guys have the cards required for it? 
And if you guys don't, are you guys going to just save up your your credits? Because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Definitely want to know what you guys think. And we also got this Valhalla card that I will be covering. So I'm definitely looking forward to that stuff. So we got some cool stuff happening this week as well, even though it's on the slower end. But I'm pretty sure next week we will definitely be able to see what's going to be happening with my affection in regards of when are we going to finally get out of the Ruby tier. Because if we can see more ruby live events and stuff the more what the more ruby live events we see the faster we're going to be getting out of ruby tier so it all depends but we'll see what happens from there and i'm definitely excited for this weekly towers 2500 mfp definitely sounds great to me so i will definitely be going for that as well so we have some cool stuff this week but let's see what happens when it comes to the live events I hope that outside of that whole roadmap that they gave us, that we still see more live events. I, I mean, I know like these are the mainline live events that you guys see here on here, but hopefully they do give us something else as well. That way we can definitely have some more content. But like I said, if not, we already know what type of week it's going to be. It's going to be pretty much planned out with what we we're going to be getting in a ways. And then we're just going to have to wait until next week to really get some more big updates. All right. But let me know what you guys think about everything in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching Jex Gaming. And I should have a Call of Duty video coming up as well. So make sure you guys check that out. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to Jex Gaming, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.